how's it going everyone? Uh, I'm gonna uh, start a project here that I've been wanting to do for quite a while um, but I uh, just haven't you know had the urge until here lately I've been thinking about this project for quite a while and thought I'd uh, start rounding everything up and seeing uh, how far we can get along with this project before we uh, have to stop. <laughs> um, what I want to do is I want to build a, a really nice 8 16-bit uh, PC emulator for a cabinet. Uh, I'd like to put it in a cabinet. Uh, I've actually thought about using that big CRT TV that I have over at the arcade upstairs. But uh, I'm not sure if I want to. The only the only reason I want to use that CRT is because then we can use a zapper gun on and on the CRT and play Duck Hunt and other shooting games that uh, use a a gun but that's not you know a must uh, I'm not against using an LCD on this project because I think uh, the video card that I'm going well the video card that we choose to use is gonna be HDMI or you know it'll be VGA or HDMI either the the regular HDMI the flat cable or that that funky one I don't know what the hell you call that one that's that one that's a uh, white I don't know if I have a yeah there it is that one right there yeah so we can uh, so that's what I'm kind of leaning more towards. I think I'm going to use an LCD. I have a pretty nice one out in the warehouse that I think we could use. Uh, I think it's a 22, may even be a 24 inch. I'd like to have something bigger. But right now, uh, to get things rolling along here, we're going to use probably that 22 inch. I'm also going to use uh, what is it a uh, Batasira emulator because it's an open source and it can be modified by anyone uh, there's some better ones out there I think arrow arrow force or whatever the hell that is the number one right now but I'm not sure I want to use any of those the the Batasira is uh, Linux uh, it's an all-in-one. It, it has the, the emulator and Linux, uh, I think Linux 38 or whatever the hell it is, in already built into it so we don't have to download Windows onto a, a hard drive. We can just use it as a standalone. That way we don't have to have emulators inside of Windows. I'd rather just be able to boot it up and it go right to the program like Batasira, Batasira <laughs> and use it that way instead of going through Windows so that's that's what I'm thinking of doing that's the project we're gonna get started on here I have a motherboard here this is a A-bit IB9 I'm not sure what processor is on this. I changed this motherboard out in somebody's computer and I ended up with this one. And as you can see, this one has bloated caps on it. I think there's one, two, three. There's four of them that are bloated. But, uh, you know, we have the same caps that are bloated next to it. So I'm. Um, thinking what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and change all of them which there's only five of them we can change all five of those and see if we can't get this motherboard back up and running when it came in it wasn't working uh, it does have a busted SATA connection but that's SATA 3 and as long as the pins aren't touching it'll work 
and at some point I must have swiped the battery holder out of it because uh, the battery holder is missing off of this too. Which none of it's no big deal. We can get that all up and running, hopefully. As long as there's nothing else wrong with this motherboard, uh, we're changing the caps, we may be able to get this one uh, working. Uh, that's the one I'm thinking of using, is that A bit. Uh, now I do have another one I went through and gathered up all my computer crap that I had lying around. This is not the board that's in here. This was another change that I did. This was just an upgrade. Uh, this one has, there's no no markings on it, just a N15235, you know, there's no make or anything on this little motherboard. I have seen these motherboards before and they're not a bad motherboard. And again, I don't know what processor is on this one. I'm thinking it's probably a dual core. And that's what I'm thinking that one is. It's probably just a dual core. And that A bit uh, takes a socket 775. And this one, don't know. Have to. We can pull the heat sink off of it and see what the hell is under it. And this one has onboard video where the A bit doesn't. I guess I should have showed you that, huh? bring that back over and why I, the other reason I like this one too is I'd rather run a, a video card I mean we can on the other one but I, I, I like the motherboard to use all its resources for the, the CPU and all that and we'll put a video card on it and let it run it standalone on it uh, the other reason I wanted to use this one too is because it has uh, four four RAM slots in it and DDR2. That's why DDR2. That's why I'm thinking it's probably a dual core that's on there, which will be just fine. This one only has two two RAM slots on it, and again. DDR2, so I'm, I'm thinking it's probably I got a dual core on it as well. Uh, that's, I'm not even sure I'm going to open, pull that off and take a peek. We may. We'll see. It's no... So that's the motherboard I think we're going to work with. Uh, if we can't get it up and running, then we'll have to go back and, and pull the little one out. And that's out of a small form factor uh, PC, if I'm not mistaken, too. This, yeah, no, no motherboard in this. This is just a bunch of stuff that I've kind of stuck in in this box. i got a SATA cable. Uh, modem, there's a... Caviar hard drive, but I think it's a little dinky guy. I think this is what is that? It's only like four gig. <laughs> yeah, you know, just stuff that's lying around, and it's an IDE. And I'd rather use a SATA. Uh, this is another. We have another another video card here. This one is actually new and has never been in anything. And that came in a pile of crap that I bought. And again, you know, there's no... There we are. There are markings on it, just to... Mm -mm. Nope, don't even know. Elex Elexer is on the chips. Don't know, but we do have that that card there too if we need to use it. But I have uh, let's see, that's a monster cable. 
That may be the only one I have. We'll keep it out, out of the box. Like I said, this is mainly just a bunch of stuff that has been donated to me or or I did an upgrade for somebody and I, I get their old crap. There's, uh, there's a fatal one. Uh, let's see, is that one? Yeah, that one too. We, we could use this one too. This is a fatal. Same thing, VGA and that funky, uh, funky HDMI. Uh, I may be missing the top cable for that one though. So we'll, we'll leave that one off to the side. This is, what the hell is this? Oh, this is a, oh crap, I can't remember what the hell you call these things. This has the cable in, or no, TV antenna, that's right. This is for picking up uh, TV. <laughs> Super Digital Video Dazzle Series. That, who cares, we won't be messing with that. Oh, I'll put that right there on that pile. Uh, another graphics card, and, and no, it's not a GeForce 8400GS. This is just a little PNY. Another one that looks like it's new, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, some PNY technology GeForce 8400GS. Okay, and that's what was on the on the box. GeForce, it, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So that's a distinct possibility that we could use this one. 8400 GS DDR2, 512 megabyte. This has never been used. Nope, can't use it. This one will not fit in our fit our motherboard. Bummer. Oh well. Uh, so that one got everything with it too. Yeah. Hang on for a sec. Show that back in there. All right. So we have these two. Radon AMD. Let's see that one. Uh, I do believe that one would work. I know that one will. And this is a little uh, mm -hmm. AX thirty four fifty DDR two five hundred and twelve. Meg. That one we can use. That one's been used. If I remember that was an upgrade. Uh, this box. Oh, yep. Yeah, RAM. We have plenty of RAM. I have four sticks of this Corsair DDR2. They're only one, one gig, but with that with the A bit, we can at least have four gig of RAM. That's what all this. I think there's some DDR3 in here. Those two crucials there, uh, the ballistics, those are uh, DDR2, but they're I only have two of them, and they're one gig each. And these hypers. Yeah, DDR3. See, we can't use these the Kingston HyperX. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are one gig too. I think these came out of my computer in the house. My computer that I use for editing and doing all my video work. 
I, I boosted that up to I think 16 gig. So those might be two. Okay, this is the uh, video card that I'm thinking on using. This is a aftermarket or clone or whatever you want to say of a NVIDIA. I think that's a I think it's a NVIDIA 1020 is what that one is. Uh, it's a it works really good. Problem I had with it is you can't upgrade it. You can't put the new NVIDIA software into it into the computer it will not run it automatically crashes you have to use that software that came with it actually it was cheap I think uh, at that time when this first came when the 1020s first came out I think I think I only paid like 80 bucks for this where the the NVIDIA 1020 was right around 400 what I'm thinking I don't know anyway yeah, that was the RAM this is the card I'm thinking on using I mean if it doesn't want to work we have plenty of video cards to put on and see what we can do with getting a decent video uh, I have other uh, too bad that's not in there it's not I don't have an i7 all that's in here is the heat sink for the i7. Again, uh, upgraded, put the i7 in somebody's computer and used liquid cooled and I got to keep that. This is a Phenom 2 AMD. Uh, this is a FX or FX or an AM FX whatever uh, socket 3 which we can't use in there. So unfortunately, this is my this is the one I put in my my computer in the house for doing videos. It's an 8 core 4.2. This is a black edition. Really nice. Old now. <laughs> uh Christ, I think uh Ryzen 7 or 9 came out. So the Phenoms, uh, and well, this was the FX. This is an FX 8350. This is what's in the house. 16 megabyte uh, FX 8 core black edition. That's what I put in my computer. I took the Phenom 2 out and put this one in it. So I do have a good Phenom 2, and we have a 450 watt power supply. 450? Yeah, 450. Yeah, ATX, uh, 450. So we got the power supply there, and I, got, I have a little, this is a backup hard drive, This is, but it's a SATA. Uh, I don't have any three and a halfs, I have two and a halfs. So, we'll use it. I'll pull it out of the case. Uh, if I have to, I can use um, one out of a PS3. I have plenty of little hard drives around SATAs. Uh, these two processors, these two are both uh, dual core processors. Uh, funky socket, it's that one that has all the uh, the balls touch the, the, uh, the chip coming up off of your socket. Yeah, they're funky. I don't even know where the hell I got those. those were probably somebody gave them to me. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, I need to get kind of squared away so we can get started on that motherboard and see if we can't get it uh, booting at least to the BIOS. Uh, we don't need to put the battery holder in it right now. We can we just need to get it to power up and post and then we can move on from there. Still got to put a card in it though, because like I said, this one doesn't have on board. So we'll use one of those little 
one of the smaller ones just to get it to to post so I'm gonna clean up here and get ready and we'll we'll get these caps changed and and see, let's see what we can do about getting this motherboard to start posting All right, got those caps changed. Yeah, uh, they were. You know, they were pretty. A couple of them that were really bloated, and some of them that when I went to pull them, they just came apart. That one, you know, that one didn't look bad, but as soon as I heated it up, it just the legs pulled right out of it. So I know those were pretty crappy and uh, probably by all rights I should probably should change those two uh, actually there's four more right in that area right probably for the video card that probably should be swapped out but we're gonna gonna go with it the way it is and let's see if we at least got power what the heck Hmm, let's... That is not good. Nope. I think we just did all this for nothing. Let me get that out of the way so maybe it'll focus. That little 
transistor, that surface mount transistor down in there is all blown apart. Hmm. So I think we just changed the crap capacitors for nothing. And it looks like we even have well, that one is definitely blown apart. Yeah, I'm glad I've seen that. Wish I would have seen it earlier. Hmm. Alright, let me... I think I have another one of these A-bits. I had another A-bit, I'd pull it and change it, but... I guess this motherboard has more problems than what I thought. Alright, let me think on this a little bit and see if we ought to go to plan B and, and grab that little small form factor motherboard out and, and start messing with it. Okay, this is candidate number two. I wasn't sold on that. Uh, other motherboard that I had in the box. <clears throat> so I went hunting around and I found another <clears throat> another motherboard. This one has the four RAM slots on it and I have no idea where this came from. It's just the way it is. What you see this has onboard video so we don't have to put a card in it which I guess is okay. To SATA. Uh, I did take the take the heat sink and everything off that other motherboard and it had an Intel dual core 2.4 in it. Uh, this one again don't know what it is but you know if need be we can pull it apart and see what it is if it's not working we may have to pull it down anyway. So I'm going to get you put in a stand and we're going to get this put together, get everything put on it and get it turned on and see if it'll boot and post for us. Alright, let's, let's get rid of that. We don't need that up on there in the way. Uh, let's get the RAM in it. Uh, using a different tripod so kind of Bear with me, I left the other one over at the at the arcade. And this one I'm not. It's it's okay. But it's just not one I'm used to. Pretty sure that hopefully that's DDR2. I didn't even check. Might as well put all four of them in. And as you've seen, I have a piece of crap monitor sitting up there, an old Dell. Sorry about that. Kick you around a little. I have so much room here. Hopefully I didn't mess you up. Can you still see? Oh, well, kind of. There you go. Alright. Power supply is a little, a little dusty. Let's 
actually this one. Don't need the 20. Just the 20. No, nope, this one's gonna. Let's see, a 20. And then the 4. Next to it. That didn't feel right. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. I guess that power supply was a little dustier than what I thought. That one. VGA cable. Plug in our power supply. Now you can't see the screen all we're doing is we want to see if it'll post I don't know if I can get you maneuvered around here uh, so you can see the see the screen pick your head up a little oop wrong one told you Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, let's see, power supply on. Two pins here we need to touch momentarily to get it to our supply is a little noisy. I uh, don't need the hard drive because it should boot, boot to the BIOS. Our RAM should be firing up because usually if there's no RAM you don't get no power at all. We don't have any video whatsoever. I don't know, you can't see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, I put that Fatal 1 card in. Let's see your on off switch. Our two pins here. And if you can touch them momentarily. fire up but we still have no video Hmm. 
Boom. All right. What's next? <laughs> Next is for me to stop shaking. All right, let's uh, let's pull a couple ram sticks out of it and receipt. Let's see the two black. second or second that's your second set that you should put in the blue is your main so pull them Reseat them and try again. And still nothing. Okay, so we're gonna have to dig a little deeper on this one. I don't know. If, like I said, I don't remember where this motherboard came from, so I don't know for sure if it was pulled from a working computer or if it was changed because it was bad. All right, let me do a little digging and see if I come up with something. And if I do, I will bring you back and let you know what's going on. All right, tried different RAM and everything in it. And still will not post. I God, I'm always losing my stuff leaving it somewhere. So I'm gonna let's take a peek at this um, processor in here and let on this board and let's see if it's actually one we we have another one of. We can try another processor. Kind of hoping it's an Intel. Thermal paste was, was in good shape. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like, ooh. Looks like a socket. Seven seven five. Let's let's see what actually this is. Uh, let's see, Intel Pentium Dual Core. SLA8W 
2.4 and the one I took off of that A bit SL9ZL 2.4 66 I do believe we can swap them out Thermal paste. Thermal goo. Alright. What'd you do with my thermal goo? There's thermal goo. I am going to take a minute and pull that back out and I'm going to clean our chip up. So that's the same as those other two processors I have. That's interesting. Okay, let me get this cleaned up, and then we'll at least let's try this one. We can always put another one in if we want. Got that all cleaned up. Let's get some.
All right, we'll try the onboard video first. Noisy power supply again. Okay, that's something different. That's not. Hmm, I wonder if I'm going to need to get a different power supply. We still have no post. All right, okay, and now. Mm hmm. Now, do we have another bad mouth? Uh, yeah, mouther board. And should we go to something else? You know, this stuff's a dime a dozen. This old, old stuff. So it's not really like you have to, you know, fix this. The other one, I just thought, you know, we had some bad caps. We changed some caps and, you know, and away we go. But this... This one, everything looks okay, and there's really no reason to troubleshoot it down too much. Well, that's shut up. Hmm. Let's see. The other two, that should be reset. Okay, shuts down. Reset. It's really kind of puzzling. All right. Instead of standing here looking at it, let me let me mess around with it, and if I figure something out. With this one, I'll bring you back and we'll see what we can do. Uh, if this one, if we can't get this one to boot, we'll get another one and try a different one. Eventually, we are going to get a motherboard that works. All right, number three. Get a fan. On here, hopefully this one fits. You're gonna fit. Come on. This is the one out of the that I had in that box. It's only got the two RAM slots in it, so that's why I said I'm not real not real happy about that, but um, oops, I may have to dig up 
better ram. I really wanted to use these Corsairs. Uh, I mean, I suppose I could, only, but we're only going to be running it in there. Two, two gigabyte of RAM. This has onboard VGA. Now, so I take both twenty and the four and the four. Yep. See, some of these don't use that four. Okay, everything's hooked up. Turn it on. This one. Let's see if we can find it. I think it's the these two right here. Maybe not. Where did I turn that? No, that's on. Let's see power switch. Nope. Oh, had the wrong ones. Power switch are the these two right here. Boy, hey, three strikes and we're out. Now I'm really starting to wonder about that, <laughs> about the RAM, those Corsairs. Nothing. Got another bad one? This is getting... Not getting any heat in anything either. There's our little speaker it should beep when we turn it on if it's gonna post And yes, the monitor is on. Okay, I'm going to have to regroup. I'll bring you back if I find anything. Like it's sailing out into the creek. Okay, after five motherboards, this is my fifth motherboard here that I'm working with, and three different processors. I finally found a motherboard. that boots and posts. Just drive, oh, seek failure. <laughs> so now, after all this screwing around, well, not really screwing around, because I found out, I kind of went through a bunch of stuff, and now I know what's junk, 
and I can strip and throw out. Ah, finally, we have a working motherboard so far. Uh, this one, like you, uh, you've seen, it's a Dell. I have a 2.4 in it, dual core. Uh, I just run, I have the ballistics in it, the 2 gig, because I wasn't sure if the Corsairs were working or not, so I put the ballistics in. Uh, the ballistics are working so far. Uh, we need to get into the CMOS. Uh, press F1 to continue, F2 to enter setup. Uh, what we need to do now is okay this is a all USB so there's not going to be any uh, PS2 mounts on this one let's go round up a keyboard and see if we can at least get into the BIOS and see if it's reading everything and and we'll know for sure that we have a good working motherboard that we have to work with and we can uh, start moving forward with uh, loading Bata, Bato Sira in on a hard drive and see what we can come up with. Alright, now we're into the BIOS. Power Man System Info. Let's... There we go. Yep. Let's see. Service tag. Pro Processor type, Intel, Pentium, dual, CPU 2.4. Uh, memory, we got 2, 2. Available, 2 gig. All right. All right, let me get the phone, and then we'll finish up. All right, now, where was I? Okay, now we have a working motherboard. Uh, I tried a different power supply just in case my 450 wasn't working. You know, I may have had a dead leg. It was just easier to go ahead and throw another power supply up on here and test it. Uh, but that one is working. We have a working motherboard. We have RAM. Uh, we have a hard drive. We'll get a hard drive hooked up to this and then we can start loading and see what we can come up with as far as having a little bit of fun here. But I think this one, this video has been long enough and I need to get it edited and uploaded so everybody can at least see what I'm doing. So to speak. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you even though it was kind of a kind of a pain running through uh, trying to find a decent motherboard that worked and finally I did hmm. okay so I hope to see you on the next one where we're gonna start getting Bata Sira loaded on a hard drive and see what we can come up with and see what we can do so until then see ya